Employees at a Metro business are describing their workplace. But one whistleblower says speaking out cost him his job. So now he's telling his story to our Rusty Surrett. Let me first say this, guys. The call center that we're talking about admits it has a very messy and smelly problem, and we're told they're working on it. But there's one man there who says he is jobless because he refused to work in such raunchy conditions. On the outside, GC Services appears to be just like any other business around. But it's what's happening inside this call center that has Philip Martin and his girlfriend, Christy Diaz, furious. That's just disgusting, you know, having to work in an environment like that. Philip says on Friday, toilets inside the building backed up, sending sewage and waste across the floor. It happened again on Monday. Philip says his co-workers were literally sick to their stomachs. I went in and talked to him like, you know, what, what's going on? I mean, are we supposed to work? And he told me, yeah, to just go ahead and clock in and get started and they'll take care of it. Philip says at first, no one was allowed to leave. So he called OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Minutes later, Philip says he was fired. How could they think anything about that would be right, of making somebody work in somebody else's waste? You know, that's, there's nothing right about that at all. A company spokesman couldn't comment on why Philip was fired, but he says it's likely for some other reason than this. They're horrible to us. Horrible. Christy, who still works there, isn't buying it. She says her supervisors fired Philip for being the first one to call OSHA, although he wasn't the only one to do it. I kind of figured when he told me what was going on and he asked me for OSHA's number, I knew what was going to happen. So what does OSHA have to say about all this? Well, we do know that they have been in touch with the company GC Services, and an OSHA representative told me this afternoon that Oklahoma is an at-will work state, meaning that employers can fire employees if they'd like to. Guys? All right, Rusty. Now, GC Services says employees are being allowed to go home if they feel sick, and crews are fixing the sewer problem. We're also told the flooded portion of the building will be torn down and rebuilt.